Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's talk about the bags that I would and some that I wouldn't buy again at today's prices in 2023. Now I have done this video before, but since that video, we've had quite a few crazy price increases. And some of these bags are now sitting at prices that I never imagined them getting to, certainly not within this time period. And it's made me think and look around this room at my collection and think, what would you actually buy again if you had to buy at today's prices? The first one that I would buy again is the Chanel Mini. This, I appreciate, is a small bag, it's a mini bag, and is very, very expensive. This bag now currently retails at £4,130. That's a lot of money. But this bag, to me, is so usable. I genuinely believe you're getting the look of the quintessential Chanel classic flap for around about half the price. This, okay, is not the classic flap. Let's grab one of those. This one is the classic flap. They look very, very similar. This one has the double flap inside. The mini doesn't. But the double flap, let's be honest, is quite annoying when you're using it. You have to move it out of the way. It's meant to keep the shape of the bag. It does make the bag heavy. This bag is now around about somewhere in the region of 9,000 pounds. 4,130. And I appreciate these can be very hard to get. And this is much smaller. You would think this holds practically nothing compared to this. This bag is deceptive. It doesn't actually hold that much for being a bag that looks and costs a lot more money. This looks like it's going to hold an awful lot more. By the time you get your things in there with this flap, it actually doesn't hold as much as you would think. I find the chain length on this is a lot better. This can easily be cross-bodied. If you want to wear it at a shorter length, you just put those little clips from Amazon on the inside and you can wear it on your shoulder. To make this crossbody, I had to get this chain extended. That's my personal choice, but for where I like it to sit. So this, I do think, is worth worth being relative obviously but I would pay again £4,130 for this for me they're that usable I get so much use out of my mini bags I get a lot more use out of my Chanel minis than I do my Chanel classic flaps without a doubt this I think gives you the same look without hitting the price point of this again I think this is very usable for me these bags are probably one of the best Chanel bags you can get and I say that to include the mini reissue as well because I think that's also a really, really good bag. So yes, I would pay 2023's crazy Chanel price for a Chanel mini. Let's stick with this for one that I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay today's retail price for this of around about 9,000 pounds. Now, if I didn't have one, this bag I bought myself and I had set as an achievement for reaching a very significant professional goal. I was lucky enough to reach that goal some time ago and I bought this bag in London for that prof professional goal. If I hadn't reached that professional goal yet and I didn't own one of these, would I pay £9,000? Part of me still thinks no I wouldn't. The other part of me thinks because of what an achievement that is and because in my mind I had tied this bag to that achievement, I might because I can be very crazy at times. I can't say for definite that I wouldn't as probably as much as I can say. Certainly now, no, I wouldn't. Having had this and have, I actually am lucky enough to have two. I have the pink one over there. But having got this for what that achievement was and these sitting at £9,000 in and around now for the medium, no, I'm not buying another one. Certainly not at retail. If there was one that was a colour that I absolutely loved and I could get it pre-loved for a really good price, that's a different matter. But retail price of this £9,000, no I'm not buying it. And what I would say if you're looking at any Chanel bags, now obviously certain Chanel bags on the resale market actually cost more than what the bag cost at retail in the boutique, but the last two Chanel bags that I have bought are this colour block over here which is the multicoloured Chanel. I think this was around about two and a half thousand pounds and then I bought this Raffia Chanel Mini over here, which I absolutely love. Both of those came from Bagista, not sponsored, just had a good experience. And I bought that Raffia, I think, for somewhere in and around three. And again, both of them under retail. So if you're looking for a Chanel bag that's not maybe as popular, as sought after as some of them that go crazy on the resale market, there's still better prices to be had. And those are the last two Chanel bags that I've bought. And I love both of them and no regrets going pre-loved on them. Another one that I 
would buy just about, but it's going to have to be very, very, very special, is a Louis Vuitton Capucines Mini. And this is because I really, really love this bag. Now I'm at the point in my collection where I have a lot of bags. So I'm not having to buy bags that are practical or that are used for spe certain specific occasions or that are used every day because I have bags for that. These are now 5,300 points. That's nuts. It is nuts. And I'm just gonna say that, it's nuts. When I bought this one and the black one, these were somewhere in and around 3,000 pounds. So they're now up at least 2,000 pounds. It's crazy. Part of me thinks, would I? This one's on the borderline. It's going to have to be, for me to spend that amount of money on this, it's going to have to be a very, very special version. This is not as usable as the Chanel Mini. I think it's probably maybe even prettier. I think this bag's beautiful. I've talked about this in so many videos. This flap in the middle makes this quite difficult to use. This doesn't move. Not the easiest bag to use, but certainly one of the most beautiful bags to look at, in my opinion. I absolutely love this bag. So if there was one at 5,300, oh, that's getting up close to, apart from the Birkin, is getting close to the most, some of my most expensive bags. It would be difficult, but I think just about on balance, I probably would if there was one of these that I absolutely adored. But I think certainly now, if you're looking at one of these, it has to be something that you absolutely love, that you know is going to work for you, that you know the annoying features of, that you know that you're going to use on more limited occasions before you go into it at that sort of money. I probably, if there was certain versions, I because they do bring these out in some stunning versions and I know what I'm like, but it's one that's just about there because it's now very, very expensive. Next is one I don't think I would buy again at today's prices and it's this and it's the Louis Vuitton multi pochette Accessoire and in the recent Louis Vuitton price increases this just went up to £1,970. This is now £2,000. Hmm. Now it does have the, the round coin purse on it which I have taken off and no longer have. For me, why I don't think I would spend the money on this is probably how I use this bag. I use this as a grab and go. I use this as a throw across me, go for the groceries, go somewhere with my children, go to the park. So for me, this is a bit of an everyday throw about bag. I don't think I'm spending 2000 pounds on an everyday throw about bag. I really don't, to be quite honest. I think for a bag that does the same sort of job as this, there are probably a lot of versions I could get from different fashion houses that are going to do the job and I'm going to like as much and look as good for a lot less money. The Prada re-edition, I think is about 1,750. I think there are other versions of bags that are just not going to hit this price point, even though all bags have taken price increases. I just don't think I could spend 2,000 pounds for this for the way I use it. Different if you're using this as your pride and your joy and you love it and you go out and it's the bag that you really like to put with outfits. I use it a lot more utilitarian than that. And I think for me, this is too much now. Next bag that I absolutely would buy at today's price, even with the price increases, is the Louis Vuitton Neverfill in the GM. Now this is my old one and that's why it's particularly destroyed. So we're not paying this money for a bag in this condition, but I just think this bag is so good. If I was to lose mine, something happened, I'd go out and get one tomorrow. Whenever this bag became so damaged with all of this, I went out and bought the other one right away. I didn't stop using this till the other one arrived and then I just literally seamlessly swapped between the two. And if something would happen to the new one, I would do the same again. And this is now £1,450. I have said in other videos that when I bought this one in Rome for my 30th, this was €550, Euro, <laughs> which is around about £480 roughly. Mm, it's now 1450 I know it's a crazy price from where it used to be, but by today's prices and how good this bag is, out of all my bags, this bag earns its keep the most. I use this bag to work every single day. I have a video showing what I carry in this bag. If you're interested in what it fits, basically the kitchen sink. This bag for me is, the cost per wear is 0 0.00.000. I wear this so much. So absolutely I'm buying this today at today's prices. And if this were to go and 10 years time comes and I need another one, I'm probably going to buy it at that day's price as well, if I'm completely honest. And I do think I'm going to leave this back into Louis Vuitton and get the leather trims and all the leather replaced just to make this one. I know they can't replace this canvas, but I think I will do that just to make this 
usable again and just to protect it because I still love it. It has the old fashioned script which they don't do anymore. So yeah, I think I will do that. A lot of you have given me that suggestion and I think you're absolutely right, it needs to be done. The next bag that I don't know if I would buy again at today's price is an Artie Capucines. I bought this, this is two years ago version. The Artie Capucines are a line of Capucines which are released every year and they are offered or made available to people that have bought or are interested in Capucines bags or the Capucines line. Not everyone has the chance to buy these. I bought this one because I absolutely loved it. I think it's a piece of art. I think it's just a stunning bag. And I have used this bag quite a lot for it being such a piece of art. I probably thought at the time I was never going to use this bag. I've used it so much more than I thought. I know how much this bag cost when I bought it. I know how much last year's Artie Capucines were. A lot. A lot. I think from memory, somewhere up around £7,000, £8,000, so I can't remember exactly, but a lot. That had increased a lot from the year that I bought it to last year's. So I don't know how much they're going to cost this year. I'm imagining an awful lot of money, but they are stunning and they're works of art. But I have this one and I love this one. So I just don't think that I could buy another one of these at what the 2023 to four price is likely to be. I imagine it's going to be a huge amount of money and I'm probably going to be out. The bag that I would buy at today's price increases is the Louvre Tom Papillon trunk. I love this. I think it gives you the look of a trunk. It gives you the details of a trunk. It's a lot less expensive than the Petite Mal. I think it's beautiful. I do have a full review of this and I compare it to the Petite Mal. This is currently on my list, £2,290. That's a lot of money for a monogram bag, it is, but this is stunning. Has the leather trim, is from the trunk family, comes with a thick bandolier strap as well as this strap. I love this and I think this is probably a step up from a lot of the monogram bags, the crossbody type bags. I think it's beautiful and at that pr price point, I would buy this again at today's price, actually without much hesitation. I think it's stunning, it's beautiful, it holds a lot more than you think. If you're interested in this, check out that video. Very usable bag and for me at today's price, I would do it. The next bag that I would buy again at today's price increases are, is the Louis Vuitton twist in the PM size. The PM size is the small size. I think they do have a micro. I don't have that. I wouldn't buy that because this fits my phone. The PM for me is a great size. I did have the MM that was a bit big when I wore cross body. It got very, very heavy. I no longer have that. But the PM, I think, is a great bag. The twist is now £3,400. That's a lot of money. I totally accept that. But for a leather bag and where the prices of leather designer bags have gone, for how usable for the twist is, for this quirky little turn that you get in them, for the colours they're bringing out in them, for the versions they're bringing out in them, there are some absolutely stunning versions of this bag. And I think even at that price, buy today's price ranges for designer leather bags, I think I would buy it. It's not a plain bag. You can get it in plain colors if that's what you're looking for, but you can also get this bag that has something extra about it. It has iridescent, it has different colors. There's something that just steps this above a plain bag that I might be thinking, well, I'm only gonna pay a certain amount for it, which brings this into the region of bags that I actually would buy at today's price. The next bag that I would buy at today's price is the Louis Vuitton Petite Mal. This on my list is 4,400 pounds. Yes, it's an awful lot of money, but I love this bag. This bag is special to me. I have this one. I have this epi leather one over here in the fuchsia and I have one over there in the gray and light pink. This bag is just to me, very, very special. It's a statement, it's a vibe. When you carry this bag, this bag for me becomes the center of attention. She gets so many compliments. I love it. I love this bag that much that even for this small little box trunk, I'm, ba I'm banded at 4,400 pounds. What I will say though, is if you're interested in this bag, I bought this one pre-loved and this is an older one, but I wanted it in that color. I got it for about half the price of a new one. There are a few beauty marks on it, but I have used that bag so much. Nothing that puts me off it. And you can get these on the pre-loved market at a pretty decent price. 
I bought mine in Paris. I bought it when I was there with Bestie. It was a whole big occasion. But if you're not looking for the in-store experience, you can get these at some good prices on the resale market. Next bag I would buy at today's 2023 prices is the Fendi Baguette. Fendi have had price increases, but the Baguette hasn't went as crazy as some other bags. This is the embroidered version. This is currently £2,550. It has went up since when I bought it. You can get the leather in this, I think, for £2,750. I think by luxury standard prices, you're getting a fabulous bag for the in the 2000s range rather than in the threes and in the fours. I even think the 2750 for the leather baguette is a really good price when we were just talking about where Louis Vuitton prices are for leather bags. I think for the canvas, still a great price. I think this is stunning. It's striking. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. This holds a decent amount. This is actually one of the bigger versions. You can get a midi and a mini. This is the medium, I think, and it holds a decent amount. I don't love the interior of mine. I've said that before, but who's looking at the interior? I think for this bag, yes. And I think for the amount of colors they bring it out in, fabrics they bring it out in, versions I think they bring it out in. I love the black and white. There's one of these at the minute where the Zucker print is black and white. There's also a neon yellowy green phone case but I think Fendi is on fire I think they're having a moment and I think their prices for the baguette on today's level are still reasonable and I would buy again at today's prices. Next bag I would buy again at today's prices is the Prada Raffia re-edition or the re-edition at all if you're looking at it in one of the plainer versions or the leather versions or the coloured versions. For me this Raffia just spoke to me. The orange and the neutral and the Prada across it I loved it I still love it I think it's summer in a bag. Love this bag this is now around about £1,750 I think yes that's for me at today's prices I'm still going to pay that the reason I bought the Prada one of these <laughs> and then I went and bought the Chanel one but I didn't want to pay Chanel retail prices or Dior retail prices for a raffia bag given that I live in Ireland and you don't always get the weather for bags like this so the Prada for me was at a really good price point I still got the look of the bag I loved the colors in this they also have this out in pink and blue this year it's stunning I think for me even at today's prices yes absolutely this is a bag that I think that I would buy. No I know that I would buy and if I didn't have say the multi pochette and I was looking for a version of a bag like this to wear I'd probably get one of these instead. They're a bit at a better price range and I think they have a lot of choice. I think there's a really good bag at a good price for today's standards. The last bag I would still buy at today's prices but this is a very personal choice because some people hate this bag. It's the Dior saddle. I love it. I think she's a moment. I think she's a vibe. I think she's cool. I think her and I get along very very well. There is another Dior saddle bag at the minute in the Mumbai collection. Oh, I really want it. It is the pinks and it has the elephants and the tigers embroidered on it. It's stunning. I'm trying to convince myself I don't need three saddle bags in this size. I just, this version of it is Oh, it speaks to me and my love of colour. It's absolutely beautiful. The animals embroidered on it. Love, love it, love it, love it. The saddle bag is currently £3,200. I think it's a great bag. For me, I like the shape. I like that it's quirky. I like that it's iconic. A lot of people don't like the kidney bean shape of it. I love it. I love the colours they're bringing out in it. I love that they're getting adventurous. They're bringing out brights and neons. And that won't be for everybody. But on general, saddle bag, yeah, I'm buying this again at today's price. I think it's such... A great bag. It doesn't hold a lot. When I say a great bag I think because it looks class basically and I really like using it but it doesn't hold a lot. It has that, you can see how this goes up in here. This goes up a lot. This bag is not holding very much. This bag probably holds equivalent to what a mini bag would hold from a lot of the other houses. A phone, key holder, card holder, lip product, probably it. But I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay. So if you want a bag that looks pretty big and carries lots, this is not for you. But if you love the shape of this, love the colours that they bring it out in, 
oh, I'm still buying this at today's price. Those are the 10 bags that I would still buy at today's 2023 prices, even though we've had crazy price increases and three thrown in that I wouldn't buy. I'm sure there's more that I wouldn't buy if I thought about it. If you want me to make a video on the bags that I wouldn't buy at today's prices, let me know in the comment box. Those ones just came to mind as we went along. Thank you so much for watching this. If you have found it in any way enjoyable or entertaining, please do consider giving it a thumbs up. Please do consider subscribing. And if you're not done with me yet, I'm going to leave another video for you on the screen. Thank you so much for being here. Please take care and I will see you again in the next one.